Okay, so I came up with something that I named goblin and goblin in goblin and goblin technique. So I'm gonna show you how we can make a map like this in a, a couple easy uh, steps. So let's check it out. Okay, so the thing you need to do is, well, we need to make a goblin to start uh, with this map. So we do this one hand, another hand, a head, a feet, and another feet. And now the trick is you just have to follow uh, these outlines to make a cavern map. And uh, to make it like a cavern wall, I'm going to do a little trick. Of course, it's not perfect, but it's going to resemble a cavern wall. I'm going to do a, a crossing line. So I start somewhere. I go here, for example, start. Then every next line is a sharp line that crosses my goblin. So this one crosses here, this one crosses here. Boom, 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 boom. So I will do it as fast as I can just to... Okay, these lines don't have to be perfect, okay? Some can be really short, some can be really long, okay? Just what matters is that you cross the goblin. And some of them, uh, well, I'm not going to complicate things for you yet. Let's just cross, 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 cross. That's all we want for now. And just last one, just boom, boom. Okay, so this is our cavern. Now, we do another goblin. <laughs> Where are these goblins coming from? I don't know. But we do a mini goblin now. Okay, and now for this mini goblin, uh, this is gonna going to be like a center core for our map. Okay, so again the same technique. We just cross the how do you say it? our little goblin drawing. Okay, just make sure you cross all the lines. Well, obviously you can do whatever you want, but to demonstrate this technique, I just said okay, this is my rule. I'm gonna cross the lines. So we have an inner core. So let me uh, quickly hatch this so we get a feeling of how it looks, okay? Uh, okay. If you don't want to watch me hatching, just skip forward the video. <laughs> this is a low production video, so I don't have video editors and all that jazz. Uh, so, I'm not gonna edit anything, I'm just doing this for fun, you know. I leave this empty, I will tell you later why. Of course, your hatches or whatever they are, they don't, nothing needs to be perfect. This is a DND map for Christ's sake. We are having fun using our creativity. Okay, so this I left empty because I'm just gonna do a, a little exit here. Okay. I hope you can see it. Okay, you can see it perfect. Okay. Okay, so now we have a cavern map. But, okay, it looks a little bit not like finished right so what I did next was I did a little trick where you want a little bit a pass in your cavern okay so what I did was I followed one of the walls okay just follow it okay and then don't follow it okay now follow it again okay you notice now I reached like an empty area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it as close as possible to my core. So I do this. Boom, 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 connected. Boom, 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 connected, okay? So we hatch again, all right? Well, this is not hatching, but is it hatching? Whatever you call this. Okay, so let's make sure you can see these lines. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a uh, cavern map that you can use for your game. Uh, obviously, you can touch it up, change things, etc. Uh, for example, I think this is too uniform. I don't like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extend this wall. Okay. Uh, okay. Just because I didn't like it. I extended it. Boom. So, less uniform. So I don't like this here also. Let's make it a little bit narrow. Okay, so now it's a bit more interesting, right? We just added whatever we want, we played with it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, so I made this map also with the same technique. Uh, so goblin and goblin and then a little tunnel and then just some additions I made. Don't forget your exit uh, and have fun.